discipline towards maturity. Reading from scripture, Colossians chapter 4, verse 2. Continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. We continue to look today at how we can build disciplines intentionally to train ourselves into greater levels of maturity. Another essential discipline to inculcate in order for us to grow spiritually is to build an active relationship with God through prayer. Prayer is an often spoken about topic in the life of a Christian. It is so because it is the way of a Christian's life. We see many references that Jesus made to prayer. Through the gospel, even though Jesus being the son of man, Jesus took time to draw away from all that he was doing to spend time with God. Paul also understood the importance of it. He speaks about it in his epistles and he calls us, calls us Christians to pray. The truth is that we cannot be growing Christians if we do not pray. It's just like one being in a marriage without communicating with their spouse. In both these circumstances, the communion will be status quo and the partners do not know the full benefit of that intimate relationship. So what is prayer? Prayer is the pipeline of communication between God and his people, between God and those who love him. It is being consistent in prayer that, keeps, that helps a person to grow. So let's notice what is said in the text today with respect to prayer. Paul emphasizes how we are to lead a life of prayer. It says, continue earnestly, which means to persevere, to be diligent, to, be, to do it tirelessly, to closely give oneself to prayer. This usage of these words emphasize not just giving to an exercise of prayer, but also to a dedication of our prayer life. Like the, like the parable that Jesus talks about is of the persistent widow who was persistent about her need. Just like that, we are called to continue to persist in prayer. This verse is given as a command which shows that it is not an option for a Christian. It's something that the Lord wants us to do, to continue earnestly in prayer. The second part of the verse emphasizes what it says in the first. It says, be watchful and vigilant in prayer. This can be pictured as a sentry standing guard, as someone standing guard or standing awake to ensure safety. The call, this calls for ongoing attention, just like a sentry would stand near a city gate. This is to say that prayer is not casual. But, or a namesake act, but something that's intentional, something that has a specific purpose and a deliberate intent to it. Praying watchfully means to have a constant connection with God. And that's what helps us to seek Him for power and to overcome everything that, that comes in as sin or as a temptation. So in order for us to mature in our walk with God, we are called to walk and pray persistently and to be watchful. Let's examine our prayer life today and see if we fall short of what God has called us and let us seek God to help build a robust prayer life. Let's pray together. Father God, we praise and thank you for the communion we can have with you through prayer. We ask Lord, even as we come to you, that you would give us the desire to seek after you to earnestly and deliberately come to you, to commune and to talk with you. Thank you for this relationship that you share with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.